So we decided to, for the first five years, to focus primarily on the 12 major commodities that make up the 75% of the food imports for, for Saudi Arabia. And so among those 12, our organization, Salik, is, is in three separate platforms. The first is production agriculture. Production agriculture is the, the farming operations, the animal, the livestock production that we have uh, across the world and flows into Saudi Arabia. The second is supply chain. And this is focused investing on moving products from the orig origin points to Saudi Arabia and the region. Our third business platform is animal protein. And the animal protein platform consists of our investments in poultry, uh, red meat, uh, primarily beef and lamb, and aquaculture. So Salik KSA serves as a holding company and we have subsidiaries in many parts of, of the world. Uh, and those companies act in the specific regions. And so for example, uh, one of our investments is in Minerva Foods, which is the largest beef exporter from South America. And we have a significant holding in, in that company. We also have a investment in Ukraine. It's large farming operations. That's a, part of that is the Maria acquisition that we did uh, last quarter. And now we have in Ukraine over 200,000 hectares of farming operations there. G3 is another company that we have a 75% stake in together with our partner uh, Bungie. And that's a grain origination and exporting company in Canada. Our most recent acquisition is a farming operation in Australia. There is over 200,000 hectares of wheat production as well as another 40,000 head of sheep production. So ag tech is a very big space and it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. For us, what we are focused on in, in ag tech is how we can better improve our operations, what we can do to make ourselves more efficient, what is on the leading edge of the, uh, the, the, the curve in terms of what's next and what, to, uh, what will improve yields, what will um, make things more, more efficient. And, and so we are uh, very much interested in investing in, in ag tech. Uh, we have several projects uh, today on, uh, on the table that we're, we're exploring. Uh, one of is, is the most recent is a, um, a crop analysis uh, company that we just uh, invested in. One of our most recent ag tech investments is a company that focuses on optimizing yields and increasing the efficiency and the utilization of inputs. Salik is a young company, but we're, we are growing fast and we have opportunities not only in uh, Saudi Arabia, but also in many companies and countries where we operate across the globe. And so really what we're looking for is hard work, we're looking for determination, we're looking for people who can contribute in a, in, in a, in a team type of, uh, of environment. We, we're really not looking for superstars. We, we describe it as looking for super teams. So everyone recognizes their own strengths and relies on, the, on, on others in, as part of the team to get the best outcomes. The Salik approach is like considering a friendly activist. We want to bring things to the table of value and we do this with a very long-term approach. We have a specific strategy, we have a predetermined set of goals, and we are focused every day on executing on that. And that is partnering with companies and clients across the globe to help provide security to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So in terms of an investment partner, Salik should be considered as a friendly activist. What we try to do is make businesses better. What we try to do is along with providing food security to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and providing returns to our shareholders, building bigger, better, stronger businesses in all that we do. And so this is done with a long-term perspective and we have an approach that is disciplined. We have an approach that is, I would say, uh, deliberate and we're clear about our expectations. My name is Matt Jansen. I spent the last 30 years in the food and agri space working for large, multinational global companies in various corners of the world and from the very beginning of my career I've always known the of the significance and the importance of food and food security and that is even more paramount today. Salik is a place of unlimited potential. We have a very strong shareholder, we have a very clear vision and very clear goals and a path to achieve those and the resources to accomplish that 
And that is, in my view, a very strong combination. Minerva Foods, for example, is the largest exporter of beef in South America. And we're the largest shareholder in that company. And Minerva Foods sells beef and beef products not only to Saudi Arabia, but not only to the Gulf, but actually across the globe. And for this, it's a, for our, in our view, this is a, a vital and important part of a sustainable business. And they continue to grow that business. We are making, that business is making acquisitions uh, every, every year and growing and being, becoming more efficient and a better operator, as well as a better corporate citizen. G3 is a grain origination and exporting company in Canada. There we have a originate grain in a network of silos and channel those grains to the, the ports for, for exports to Asia, to the Gulf, and many other destinations. And our Ukrainian farming business is a very large Ukrainian tract of land in one very good growing area of, the, of, of Ukraine and we produce many crops there. There's corn, there's wheat, there's barley, there's sunflowers, there's potatoes, sugar beets, and all of those products are key to providing food security to Saudi Arabia.